Virgo, welcome back to Shacy Tarot if you're returning. And for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you very much being here and for supporting our channel. Thank you. And I hope you've had a great January. I can't believe we're almost at the end of January. So this is definitely a intended as a love reading, but I can pick up finance, career. I could be picking up anybody surrounding your energy. I have meditated on your energy on this deck and your love interests on this deck. They're both traditional rider weight and the mutual energies between the two of you, how you might be mutually mirroring one another. I'm going to use my Shacy Prism. For those of you that are brand new, I'm doing a bracelet stone healing, their healing stone bracelet giveaway. I have custom made these myself. It's absolutely free to you. It's just my way of saying thank you so much for all of your continued support. It's been amazing so far, an amazing journey. And we all gain insight from these readings and uh, you help me and help my channel to grow and I like to help by giving back. If you've ever seen that movie, Pay It Forward, if you haven't, you should. It's considered old now, but it's a fantastic movie. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I pay for the shipping and everything. I positively charge them for you. I give away three each month. So check into that in the description box as well as um, in the comments below. Okay, cover your ears. This is going to get loud. I'm going to shuffle, okay? For Virgo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Spirits for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. Spirits for Virgo, January 2020. If this resonates for you, for those of you that are brand new and you're unaware, I always do a continuation of your reading on Vimeo. It's another 15 plus or minus minutes. A lot less expensive than a private reading. But if this resonates for you, that might be all you wish to look at. I will look at and sneak peek for February. Okay, we're going to do all of February for your love interest. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle their cards. But I want to say this can crisscross over, go vice versa, or absolutely be all of your intro love interest energy or all of yours. Generally speaking, I pick up your love interest energy or somebody around you, okay? Whoever is affecting your energy the most, pretty much. And it can be more than one person. It happens in divine timing. You know, things may already have happened for you. Some things may happen in the future. I just saw 111. Now I saw 222. It's just amazing to me how much I see the angel numbers. If you're not sure what angel numbers are, it's your angels trying to tell you something. If you're seeing frequent occurrences of 111, 222, 1111, 333, 555, um, there's a reason for that. So go check that out. Okay, so this is for the mutual energies between the two of you, the Shea C Prism. If you're interested in this deck, that is also at SheaC.com, as well as private readings, which I've had a lot of lately. It's exhausting. Lots of fun getting to know all of you on a one-to-one -one basis, um, but it does take a lot of energy. Okay, and I rested up over this weekend, so let's go ahead and get started for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Remember, all of you are on your journey at different times, okay? This is a general read. Three of Cups, way to start your reading. You may be celebrating with friends or going to celebration with friends. Okay, maybe you're reuniting with friends you haven't talked to in a long time, but let's keep going. Sometimes other cards accompanying this can make a difference. For Virgo, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what do they need to know, please, spirits, for their highest good? Ooh, world card. You may be celebrating the fact that you've just completed a chapter in your life. You've closed something in your life. You're starting brand new. You may actually decide to go on a vacation or take an actual journey, but you could also be involved with a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, or a Scorpio. Um, so maybe you're reuniting with somebody, or I feel more like you have completed a journey, a chapter in your life, closing out an old chapter, beginning a brand new one, closing a cycle and celebrating here quite possibly with friends. That's what I'm seeing here. For Virgo, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if it's not you, it's your love interest, okay? Or somebody close to you. Please clarify the Three of Cups for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the three, whoops, whoops, whoops. Well, they wanted to fly out, you know what? I have to take them. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. So you may have had an epiphany, an awakening, you've gone through a completion, and now you're kind of waking up. It's kind of like you have a renewed sense of life, okay? You've got a new beginning, a new chapter, and you're becoming very clear on what path it is you want to take, and I feel like you're celebrating that, okay? This can also be about the truth coming out or just gaining truth and clarity overall. It's a brand new beginning that's going to be clear. It's going to be um, black and white to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like... 
you may uh, decide there's certain things that you've always wanted to do and now you're going to uh, start to do those and you're celebrating the fact that you have this new chapter this new beginning this new path and you're excited about it I feel okay seven of pentacles this is about waiting for growth you put a lot of work into something or someone and that can be you've been putting work into your career and you're waiting for material gain on it it can mean that you're putting you know your effort into a relationship pentacles is generally about coins and money um, but so far here i've got taurus aquarius scorpio leo i have aquarius gemini libra taurus capricorn virgo uh, Scorpio Pisces and cancer you're manifesting you may be trying to create everything it is you've ever wanted you are working on it you are putting the work in you are putting the work in that's fantastic yeah look your ships coming in three of wands this is about movement this is about action being taken aces are about beginnings twos are you know um making a choice and three are is I've already made my choice now I'm just waiting for it to happen so you put the work in you've made your choice and now you're waiting for everything to come to you and you're becoming very clear on what it is you want and where it is you're going and possibly who you're who you're going with and you're celebrating you're celebrating this newness that's what I'm seeing and again if it's not you it's your person of interest for Virgos love interest or significant interest okay that is too many I didn't feel good about that I have to feel good about how they come out Virgo for Virgo, please, their love interest or whoever they're thinking about, please, spirits, whoever is affecting their life. Oh, my goodness. Okay, look at this. They both fell out. So I feel like the Page of Cups is a messenger. You may be receiving messages of love or a gift of love. It could be from a younger person, but it doesn't have to be. This is a messenger, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, okay? But, you know, maybe somebody who is younger than you is offering you you know um an apology or a gift or love messages but you're not you're kind of refusing it right now or this is them refusing you not ready to accept it you're kind of still focusing on a loss from the past you're kind of double negative here and you're kind of like no i'm not ready yet and it could be because either you or your person is just going through this awakening and just gaining clarity here manifesting the future and somebody's not quite ready to accept somebody new perhaps Clarify the page of cups here, please, for Virgo. Clarify the page of cups for Virgo. Clarify the page of cups here, please, for Virgo. January 2020. January 2020. I'm going to pull a couple of fortune cards for you as well here and now and also in the extended. Okay. Seven of wands. Okay, so somebody's had to kind of be on the defense here for some reason. Okay, so there may have been a loss from the past that somebody is still kind of zeroed in on here. Okay, and they're needing to kind of um, be strong here and defend themselves. Perhaps, you know, defending what their new journey is or what their new path is. They're kind of in that defensive mode. So somebody is uh, not ready to look at a new opportunity here in love. That's exactly what I'm feeling. They're too much on the defense mode right now, and that could be you or your person. Maybe somebody wants to apologize to you for something. Maybe you're defending yourself for a reason. Maybe somebody did you wrong, and so you're like, no, I'm not accepting you, and they want to kind of apologize for the behavior. That's a possibility as well. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Clarify the Seven of Wands here, please, for Virgo too many cards for Virgo please the seven of wands clarify the seven of wands for Virgo why is the seven of wands here clarify the seven of wands I hope you're all doing fantastic so don't forget to hit that subscribe button Woo! three of cups we've got celebration on both sides here okay so somebody's on the defense and somebody wants to apologize possibly and reunite with you but you're saying no way you're like no I'm not interested go away I'm not interested I'm still focusing on the past here and uh, you may have been hurt in the past and somebody may have hurt you and they want to apologize and you're on the defense you're like heck no and uh, they're wanting to possibly reunite with you and you're like no I'm celebrating my new beginning over here I have a new journey see ya 
That's kind of how I'm looking at this, but let's keep going here. Clarify that seven of wands here, please, for Virgo. Like I said, I'll dig a lot deeper in that extended. In the extended, I will use the 1960s and 1970s cards I've joined here together, and I did that for a reason. 60 years old and 50 years old. They're really um, heavy-duty energy cards that have blended together, and the reason I did that is sometimes I can get double clarification on what's going on for you. Okay, and then I'm going to do the pick a card with the romance angels here. So you'll hear any love messages that are important to you as well as any guidance messages the universe giving their kind of um, two cents in here as to what the advice is from them okay your next card out ooh, ace of wands okay so somebody is defending this new beginning they're very passionate about it they're very driven about it they want um, a new beginning that's very passionate very intimate um, they're just they're driven i feel that someone is very driven in protecting their right here that could be you maybe you're protecting your right to this new beginning uh you're refusing somebody that wants to reunite with you and you're just dead focused i feel here and again this could be your person clarify the three of cups here please for virgo's love interest or whomever they're thinking about please spirits clarify the three of cups here please clarify the three of cups why is the Three of Cups here, please, for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh, okay, that's too many cards. I don't know why these cards always want to come flying out like a big chunk at a time. I think it's because they've been well used. <laughs> Clarify the Three of Cups here, please, for Virgo. What do they need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? And then I'm going to pull you a fortune card. Let's see what spirit has to say. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'm going to take the one off the top. Okay. Wow, OMG, you are mirroring each other on every level. You're both waiting for your ships to arrive here, okay? You're both, you've both made a decision and a choice. Now you're waiting for everything to come together, but somebody's on the defense here. Okay, so this may be your former partner, okay, or a new one coming in, but what I'm seeing, or a new one coming in for you, what I'm seeing is that somebody's closing a chapter in their life. They've become very clear on what their path is. They've put the work in. They've put a lot of work into something, either a business or um, I'm feeling it's more about money. Uh, um, but it could be love. It could be both. Whatever it is that you've been working really hard on to manifest, to create, you've put that work in. And now you're just kind of like, okay, when is this going to form? When is this going to take shape? When is this going to come to fruition? And I feel like you're looking out here and just waiting for that to happen now. Okay, I've put the work in. I made my choice. And now I'm just waiting for it to come to be. And on this side, we're seeing here as well that there is, you know, um, somebody's quite defensive and refusing somebody's cup, somebody's love because they're focused on the past. They want to reunite and apologize. but uh, And they're feeling very passionate towards you. Um, but again, either you or they are refusing this and they're waiting for their ships to come in, which could be you. Maybe they're waiting for you, but you're waiting for something or somebody else, or maybe you're waiting for each other and somebody's closing a chapter and this is a new person and you're waiting for them to close this chapter in their life so that you can move on together. Let's get the mutual energies. Okay. For Virgo and their love interest or whomever they're thinking about, what are the mutual energies? How are they mirroring one another? Oh, you're both manifesting. You're both trying to make things happen here. You're both waiting for your ships to come in, either to reunite with one another after somebody has refused somebody else and, and let somebody else go. Somebody, again, is defending or protecting themselves, standing strong. Maybe somebody doesn't agree with this new beginning, and so you're having to or they're having to stand up for themselves. Maybe you're both manifesting, coming together, looking at each other here, possibly from a distance. Either way, you're both manifesting and mirroring each other. Wow. Whew. Virgo, what's going on? Let me know in the comment section. For Virgo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. For Virgo, what can you tell Virgo, please, about how their person is mirroring them or feeling the same way? How are they mutually feeling or mirroring one another, please? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus planning ahead looking focused wow that's amazing you're both yeah you're both marrying another you are trying to manifest you're trying to make things happen they're trying to make things happen you're both planning ahead you're both planning this new future 
Okay, I feel this could be you or your person coming together after somebody's breaking from an old cycle or an old chapter from their life. Okay, there could be celebration here. Wow, you're both working on your future. This could be a former partner of yours and you're both separately working on this new beginning. Okay, but this is getting away from any kind of conflict except for the Seven of Wands. Somebody's still a bit on the defense here. Somebody's still kind of standing, having to stand their ground. But they're, 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 they're protecting it. They're defending their choices here. Okay, they may apologize to you because maybe, um, maybe they've been too defensive and they want to apologize for that. Okay, we're going to check and extend it, but let's go ahead and pull your fortune card. Let's see what's going on. Check the previous playlist for the giveaways if you're interested in the bracelet giveaway. Again, there's three each month you get to pick. I forgot to tell you that. You get to pick your size, six inch to seven and three quarters, and you get to pick your charm depending upon availability. Um, I'll show you this one quick because I don't think I showed you up close. This is Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes, okay? And this is one of the most popular, I Am Enough. And I picked out all these stones myself because I felt that I had to buy three or four bracelets to get all the healing stones that I wanted. And I only wanted one bracelet. So there you go. If you're interested, check that out. Bouquet. You have bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. Ooh, there you go. So you may have an admirer, you know, that is coming in towards you and wants to give you a gift and, and you're, you're refusing them. You may be refusing them. Okay, you may be starting your new path and a new journey and you might all together be like, no, I'm celebrating with friends right now. I have this new beginning and I'm really not interested at the moment. Okay, that could be. And they're passionate about you with this Ace of Wands. This can sometimes mean that they want to be intimate with you and you're kind of like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Fighting everybody off. That could definitely be you as well. We're going to find out one more. Let's do one more. Fair Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So you may have, you know, a dealings with somebody who's very fair in your life to deal with. Um, a relationship. It could be any kind of, it could just be a friendly relationship, an acquaintance. But maybe you're having, you know, somebody's very fair around you with blonde, gray, or white hair that's of significance to you in your life right now. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Go ahead and check out the link down below on Vimeo if this resonates for you. And if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. And for those of you going to see me on the continuation on Vimeo, I will be right there with you in about two seconds. Thank you so much. I hope all your blessings and dreams come true. I truly do. Thank you for being here. And thank you so much for supporting my daughters and I in this channel. It has been an adventure and I've absolutely enjoyed every minute of reading for you. So with that being said, namaste.